Hey guys, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to begin our look at The Unforgiven by Metallica. So what we're going to be doing here is we're going to take a look at just the acoustic parts as they're played by James Hetfield uh, in that intro and in the choruses of the song. And then at the very end of the song, you take the same chords and he just kind of strums them. So I'm going to show you what he's doing there as well. All right, so I've uh, got a little nylon string here. We're in standard tuning. Um, after this lesson, we're going to take care of all the other rhythms and the clean solos, and then we've already actually taken a look at the big guitar solo a while back, so this will complete the song. So let's take a look here. We're going to start around an A minor chord, but you're going to lift up your first finger at first. Now the picking pattern is going to be, you're going to pick, the thumb is going to pick the uh, A string, and then the B string, you can pick with your middle finger. Now you see it's an open B. Now you're going to start the picking pattern, which is pick the G with the index finger and then the thumb on the D string. Repeat those three notes. And then the very last time, you're going to put that one down on the B string to make it a full uh, A minor chord. So we have this. So just the first time, only time you hit the bass string is the very first time. So the very last picking pattern, the descending pattern before you start it over with the big hit, hitting two notes, um, you only play that picking pattern with that one added the very last time. Now when Kirk Hammett comes in with his part, when, when that starts, you're going to do a little bit different pattern here, just based around the same exact chords, except you're going to add the one on the B string. two part patterns down. So you're going to hear that now. So the one is put down earlier and then you're going to pick through it again and this time you're going to put the one down the last three times through. So just this starts when the little lead comes in over it and it's played with twice. repeat all that again. Twice. Three. Alright, now from there it starts to move around a little bit. And this section is it's the end of the intro here, but it's also the exact same thing that they play in the chorus for both guitarists. And that part starts like this. Alright, so it's a little bit unorthodox the way James Hetfield actually played that. It's a lot easier just play it as a standard C shape. But if you watch him live, this is how he actually fingers it. So we're gonna So it's open A, two on the you got a little bar here, the second fret, two on the D, two on the G, to four on the G. And then we're gonna go into this C chord. And it's going to be, now we're playing uh, the third fret there on the uh, A string, second on the D, and fifth on the G. Hit those, the fifth and the, uh, the A and 
those two together, the guitar's intonation's a little off, so it sounds a little bit out of tune. Not a lot I can do about it. So we have the outside notes first. Then you're gonna pick across those three strings quickly, thumb, index, middle. And then do the index on the D and the middle on the G again. All right, from there, you're gonna move pretty much everything up one string. So, and the picking is gonna be, you hit the fifth, the uh, sixth low E string with a thumb, index is gonna grab the D string, then the open B and the open G. So we have this. the low E open with the second fret there on the D. Then you can play the fifth fret, I mean sorry, second fret on the third string, hammer two to four, and then go back to that two on the G and add the A and the bass. So we have this. Then you start over. Now this time instead of going to this, it's a little bit different version of that G. And that's going to be still the same, 3rd fret on the low E, 4th fret on the G, and you got the 3rd fret there on the uh, B string. So you're going to pick this, the G and the low E together, B string, and then back to the G. Then you're going to go thumb on the low E again, and then middle finger on the B. So. add the low E and then the first fret there on the G and then the same thing that we did that's just basically slide into four back to one and hammer two to four and then you can go back and hold the chord like this so let me play through the chorus part really slow rhythms come in from there. Now like I said, these chords are strummed at the very end, just the chords of that chorus when we went through the C to G to the E major to A minor. So you're going to hear this, just play the C major chord to a G to an E major to an A minor. Just repeat those chords. that over the the outro chorus of the song all right so stay tuned we're going to take a look at all the heavy rhythms and the clean lead guitar parts in the next lesson